Next we'll take a look at the sequence Compose. First I want to show you how to add and modify the toolbar so we can add the Impose and Compose buttons to the toolbar. To do this we will right click and select Customize. I'm going to remove the Start Sample Print icon as well as the Logs icon and add then the Impose and Compose tool icons by simply dragging and dropping them into the toolbar and click Done when I'm done. Next, we will import our job from the samples directory. We will import the file inventory list. And we will need to apply media properties to this job, insert tabs, and then also then add a cover. We have our inventory list. We will select the job and click the compose button. We can identify that we have Sequence Compose installed and configured with the dongle by the sequence items across the top. The buttons on the upper left hand corner are Sequence Compose items. We can expand and collapse those. It is also referred to as the page view. The page view is only available when we have the Sequence Compose dongle attached to the, Fiery with, or attached to the client running Command Workstation 5. Here we can see our layout and we can begin to per then to apply our job properties. So first let's add a job to be the cover for this inventory list. We will switch back then to our folder that contains the PDF file that we want to import. Sequence Compose allows us to drag and drop files directly into it. So we'll select the file inventory list cover, drag that to the first before the first page, import that, minimize our window, and we now have imported the two pages for the cover. The second page actually needs to be the back cover, so we'll simply drag this to the end of the document and place it at the end. Next, I can begin to apply my media properties. To do this, I will select the option menu, <coughs> select all pages, right click on any one of the highlighted pages and select Assign Media. I will now go to my predefined paper catalog that I set up in advance and I need to apply then the main paper that will be used within the document is the letter plane and we'll click OK. The media now has been assigned to the rest of the document. We want our cover though to be printed on a heavier cover stock. First let's apply our duplexing to the rest of the pages, so we'll select duplexing top top. The center section here is providing us a quick preview of the document as it's being laid out. We can also see the media that is being applied to the different pages. We can see that the front, the cover now is the letter plane, <coughs> we're going to, for the front and the back. But we really want the front cover to use a heavier stock and to not only print on the front and the back to only print on the back side of the sheet because here we can see that we have a blank sheet. So we'll click on the cover checkbox. We'll apply the front cover as a separate sheet. We also have the option for insert. This would be using a pre-printed page from another source. We will then select our media and we'll select letter A4 heavy. And we will tell it that we want to print only on the outside. We will do the same for the back again selecting our media as our heavy stock and print only on the outside for the back and click OK. Dynamically our layout is being updated. And we can see now at the top where we have identified our front and back covers as well as the rest of the body. Over in the page view area we can scroll down and we can click on the show implicit blanks and it will show us how blank sheets have been inserted to manage the page. Next we want to add some tabs. To do this we will select the tab page that we want to insert the tab in front of and click the insert tab button in the compose toolbar. We can now select that tab and assign the media to it. We will select our media here, will be letter A4 5 cut tab, click OK, 
right-click, and a select tab text to assign the text to the page. We'll enter in the tab, e the text to be inserted in the tab ear. We can assign the font size and the font to apply to this. So we'll select Arial, we'll select 10 point, we can change the color from black to red to green or blue, so we'll select black for this first tab. We'll apply these text attributes to all, pa all the tabs, and then continue through the document. We'll now insert another tab, right-click and select tab text, and finally insert the last tab. We can go back and make any changes to any of the other tabs. When we're done, we'll click the OK button, and now we've inserted our tabs. To complete this document, we can now click the Save button, and save our document with inventory with a new name. And click OK. It will now merge the two files that we merged previously together to create the final file. It will also then include all of our paper attributes and our tab inserts. When we're done, we can go ahead and click the Close box to close Sequence Compose.